Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the WGLNA Season 2 Finals live from Las Vegas. I am Joshua Clutchgrade, joined on the set by Andre Gritor Pengshua for some fun. And that fun is going to be the speed death match between 14 players on each side. They are going to almost be ready here as they're finally cleaning up their tank selection. Yeah, I think there's about two more people here. Yankee and who's the last player? No, that's it. That's We're it. just waiting on Yankee now to choose your tank. Hurry up, Yankee. We're waiting on you, man. We'll talk about some of the picks because it, it'll be a laundry list as we get further on. <laughs> we got a lot of WZ-132s, an Object 416, a KV-5, Pershing being chosen, Centurions being chosen for both sides. Even a Chafee, as we were talking about, Canaduck will be sporting that. KV-5 T-71 is going to be cho chosen as well. The reason why I don't like the T-71 for this is because of the giant track. Holy moly. It is so easy it's a magnet. to track you. It's yeah. a magnet for shells. <laughs> And it's time, ladies and gentlemen, it to is. jump into the death match between these players. It's going to be on cliff, which is going to allow a lot of room for firing and for tanks in an uncontrollable, uh, momentous forward movement. And I, I honestly want to see some of these tanks get hit and slow down just as they're turning, because they're just going to continue to turn in a circle. I think it's going to be very funny. If I were doing it, I'd just double R and just press left and right, and that's it. Don't even bother doing anything else, that's and it. just hope for the best. That's Don't it. slow down. Slowing down is the worst. No, that would be very, very, very bad. <laughs> All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the death race. And All in right. the south side, we, we can only see about seven players <laughs> <laughs> from the tab menu here. But I'm going to follow the top side. We're going to name this Team Struggle Bus for the blue team. Okay. And what's the name of the red team? Um, uh, tight Pants. Tight Pants. Red team is Team Tight Pants. Blue team will be Team oh, Struggle no, Bus. Oh, no, Zazie. What have you done? Zazi's done. He's out. He's he not out. Move. He can move. All he has to do is press right or left, and you can get out of there. It's gonna be Mistakes tough, were made, though. That's for sure. I think he's AFK. <laughs> you think he all tab? All right. I'm gonna try to jump over to Canada Duck here. Canada Duck and the WZ-132. Valencio does try to fire here against the T-32. He's gonna be streaming very, very quickly. Shots fired against him, but none are able to land. And now the skirmish is gonna happen all the way to the east side of the map. And we're going to get over there as soon as we can to see who's going to fight who here. Overlord and Prime taking a lot of damage. It's tracked. He's going to be completely, well, not useless, but he's just going to be going forward. Captain Blood, Yolo Swag 420. He's going all the way in, but he can't, he can't back up. He has nope. to just keep going. <laughs> he can't stop at all. And he's alive. How does he do it? 682 damage. <laughs> Mataka, Miserable, and Canada are on the chase. He's, he's going back and forth in the WZ-132. That traverse on that tank is keeping him alive, and Trireme's trying to help him in the team 32. Captain Blood takes another hit from Malachio, uh, he falls. He's only Neo for so long. He finally goes down. Dopper taking a lot of damage now, 372 hit points. I have no clue who's ahead, but a lot of people have lost control of their tank already. Yep. Dopper and J Smooth have now fallen below five kilometers an hour, and they're going to be. So is Dopper. Look at him. Continual he's chase. going around in circles. Dopper <laughs> is out. Silo Demise falls to Moadiv, hashtag moddable. Executus in the WC-132 is on a continual uh, momentous hit here. I don't think he can stop either. Trireme in the T-32 is down to 31 HP. Can't tell who's victorious yet, but I do see a lot of red on the field here for Team Tight Pants. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Centurion is uh, still alive. He's able to move a little bit here and there, but will he be tracked? KV-5 still alive and kicking, who would have thought? But his, his uh, turret speed isn't going to be, well, maybe Waffles ammo racked by Waffles. Sorry, buddy. Waffles is out. Rella on the chase, uh, getting chased from the Centurion Independent. Tries to line up another shot here for the kill. Does he get it? Independent has to keep moving along with Rella. Valacio and Taka001 are all continually on the... Oh, no! Valacio fell from the cliff, and he went to a complete stop. Now he cannot stop at all. He's going to lose control of his tank. Taga 001 gets the kill against Executus. And the blue team is starting to clean up the red here. Yeah, things are, uh, things are looking good. But Canada, I do believe, has lost control. But it looks like two <laughs> red players on the field, GQ and a Centurion. And he's about to run into, no, he's about to run into death. Moadib, can he do it? Pershing alone? I don't think so. There's too many people still alive, and there it is. Red base is under attack. Is there anybody else still alive? I don't no. think it is. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Team Struggle Boss gets the victory on the death match. 
A lot of firing back and forth, but those WZ-132s, man, those were the tanks to pick. Continually moving and dodging back and forth. Honorable mention, way. though, to Captain Blood for how long he lived, man. He that dodged is so many shots. That is So many insane. shots there. And there's laps going nuts for Team Struggle Bus. He mad. <laughs> <laughs> nice or poses he's, from he's something. Yeah, that's nice <laughs> Good uh, job to everybody. Good job, everyone. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I, big thanks to Junior for putting that together. Yep. He coded that. It took him like 30 hours to do it. Wow. I don't know. 30 hours. Let's just say it's 30 hours. Worth it. Worth it. Totally worth it as people were able to lose control of their tanks. That was a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a break as we get the finals set up. The finals of Simp versus Fulcrum Gaming. Did people predict this? Yes. But it's still going to be an unpredictable matchup because Fulcrum has looked very, very dominant throughout the series, but they were not the top performing team. They are the champions from season one, but Simp was a team that went 7 0 in the group play. Sim showing a little bit of trouble getting here to the finals, though. We've had very convincing matches with Fulcrum Gaming, so really is anybody's game. Who's going to be the winner? Is it the consistent performers of Simp, or is it the Fulcrum Gaming, who showed a little bit of you know, hesitation in the beginning of the, the group stages, but now is showing some impressive results? We're going to find out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Tell your friends. Make sure to get on Twitter at WGLNA and at Razor to get some great gear and some great codes. And we're going to find out who is the best of the best for season two in North America after this.